just the kid inside me was enthusiastic and excited about it. I asked my kids and they said you definitely have to do it. So. You know, I think to justify continuing the franchise you have to bring something fresh to it. And this is an origin story. Uh, concentrates on the, the friendship and brotherhood between Optimus Prime and Megatron, which previously audiences haven't been aware of. They've always been enemies, so it's, it's something different. Um, it's exciting. There's, there's a great sense of humour to it, adventure, and a lot of heart, too. Thank you so much. Thank you did incredible. You know, Transformers has been a part of our lives for over 40 years. It meant everything in the world to me to be a part of this franchise. And not only that, but to voice, you know, the iconic villain Megatron, uh, it excited me even more because I was like, I can bring a fresh take to it, I think. You know, we starting at the very beginning, the origins of who they are before they became the formidable foes that we know them to be. And I just really wanted to have fun. And, and honestly, this cast, you couldn't have picked a better crew of, of rap scallions, you know, to know that I'd be playing with Chris Hemsworth, Keegan, Scarlett, even Steve Buscemi, you know, I was like, this, this seems like something fresh and new. So I, I just chomped at the bit. It's not about what you look like. It's not about your body. It's not about what, what you're bringing to it physically, but what you can bring to it vocally, which gives it another set of challenges, right? You know, we have this thing that me and Chris joke about called efforts. And so efforts are when you're in the booth and like if you have to run or if you have to fight or if you like you're, you know, you're like kind of crying, it's what you have to vocally bring and it is exhausting. Uh, but it's so much fun because you have to bring your imagination. You have to just open your mind up to what you think the world is going to look like because there's nothing in front of you. You're just really just going on what's on the page and what you feel. And I think that's a, a great challenge for most actors and that's why I like doing it. Because I'm such a big fan of the Transformers world, I, I have been since I was 12 or 13 years old and watching the cartoon as a kid at home and I was just honored to be asked and so that was why I wanted to do it because I wanted to be part of the lore of this universe of this world. Yeah. So I, I felt I felt like it was going to be something that I was going to have to put a different kind of effort into and I was going to have to try to change the voice. I usually do that when I work. I try to disguise my voice, but the director asked me to bring more of myself to this. So I it's kind of me, but like a higher younger me, you know, so uh, like a, a high octane me. And so it was a, a lot of fun. It felt kind of familiar and vulnerable at the same time, but it was really a neat and new challenge for me. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't dream of a better cast for this movie. I mean, and, and when you see it, it's unbelievable. Brian and Chris and Scarlett bring so much to the you know, to these characters, and characters that are very iconic. And also, the other thing is, there's really wonderful surprises like Steve Buscemi and John Hamm's amazing, and the great Lawrence Fishburne. It, it's it just it just has this weight, and it's elevated in such an amazing way that you just feel honored to be a part of it. Yeah. I think I'm most excited for the audience to experience the relationships between the characters. There's lots of action. It's great. I think it's some of the best action I've ever seen. But we've seen action movies. This is a story about friendship, a story about class. There's, it's all the deeper themes that I think I, I'm, I'm really excited for the adults in the audience to see. That they're, they're, coming, they're like, oh, I'm going to go to this animated movie. They're going to have a, a really amazing experience that I think they're not expecting. Thank you. Well, I've heard of Transformers. I heard it's kind of a big thing, and being that this was the origin story, uh, it seemed pretty cool. Had a good conversation with Josh Cooley, the director, when he told me the cast that was involved. I said, yeah, I want to be a part of this, yeah. You know, Josh is an actor, the director, so I really felt like I was doing the scenes with him, because he would really explain it to me. Sometimes he'd do the off-camera cam lines, and, uh, and he just gave me such you know, simple but uh, great direction, and it's a fun character. You know, it's I, I got to sort of go in deep with my with my voice and uh, and be really <laughs> villainous. It was fun. This is a epic movie, and it um, the real thing is the real idea is that it, we, uh, animation allows us to exaggerate everything. So scale is such an important part of Transformers. So ex exaggerating the scale of the whole world, the, the characters, and then the action. It's um, a way to really feel it and believe it. This cast is, is insane. And a few I'd worked with before, I worked with Scarlett before and worked with Keegan, so um, knowing that B and Alita's characters are just perfect for them, so I, I called them up and they said yes. And then um, uh, finding Chris to play young Optimus was a dream. He's had the right heft and, and just the right 
the believability and the weight to the voice. So it was just fantastic. And, and Brian Tyree Henry, like, I, I can talk forever about this cast. They are just so great. And just not on top of that, not, they're talented, but also they're just great people and so easy to work with. And it was really great, really awesome. Well, the relationship between these two characters, that's what this movie is about. And it's a, a whole section of the film, or a section of the lore that people have never heard before, or ever seen before. So um, I like people going like, wait a second, they were friends? What are you talking about? And then that's what they get to experience. So I just want the audience to have a great time. This was a dream of ours. I've been doing this with Lorenzo for I don't know how many years now, 2007, six, something like that. Um, and we always talked about Cybertron, and we always said there's no way we can do a full CG-created photo real environment. And we dreamed of uh, telling the origin story because every the thing, the one thing, if you ask anybody what they know about Transformers, they'll say Optimus and Megatron, hero villain, hate each other. And and you know we tried for a decade to try to get this um, everybody on board with the idea of doing this as an animated movie and I think that still even to this day even though it's you know it's gotten easier to do the CG you still can't do this and this is a, a spectacle that is beyond anything we even came close to doing in live action but the animation in this is very close to live action. Uh, it's almost photo real. Uh, Josh, our director, will say this isn't even an animated movie. It's a, it's somewhere in between animation and live action. So, that that was our compromise. And this was our opportunity to get underneath, uh, you know, Megatron and say where did that come from? And that was the hardest part of this movie was figuring out how two best friends who were on the same path ended up in two totally different directions. Chris in particular was so vibrant and he made his own adjustments and he could, you know, he, he knew what he was able to deliver in terms of dialogue with conviction. To really take the time to create the landscapes and do whatever Josh's imagination came up with visually, there's so much more versatility to animation. It's two legendary characters, iconic Optimus and Megatron, and this is our kind of version of how they, the relationship began and why there's an extra layer of pain and love and hatred between them. And who wouldn't want to do that? You know what, the biggest surprise was how good Chris's Optimus voice is. It was, they played it for me. And I thought I was listening to Peter Cullen, the, the, the original voice. Yeah, that, I really did. I was like, well, now to play me Chris is in the room. I said, that is Chris. And I, so I was blown away. You know, animation is sort of endless in your possibility. So creatively, we were able to do things we would never have been able to do live action. And it's biblical and it's kind of, it's energy and it's, and it's, it really is such a strong emotional pull between these two guys that it allows you to tell a movie. There's a lot of freedom then. You don't have to rely on the plot. You don't have to rely on a lot of things you normally have to because at the center is such a powerful idea. So every time you set out to get actors, you never know who you're going to get. Um, and we got our really our first choices. Whether it's Steve Buscemi, who's the perfect star scream, or Chris Hemsworth, who is a great optimist, actually a great Orion Pax and a great optimist, you know, so, and then, and then I think uh, Scarlet allowed us to do a female character in the Transformers in a way we've never been able to do it before. She brought such strength and energy and fun to that, that I think it's, it's certainly our best female Transformer we've ever had. If you're a fan of the series, that you will come to understand both Optimus and Megatron in a different way. And that was interesting for those of us who worked on it. And if you're not, uh, it's still interesting in the way you're introduced to who these characters are in that transition. So I think for those that don't know the story of who these guys are going to become, it's a, just a fresh idea and it's a fresh experience and if you do it's a surprise in a way because at the end of the day you you come to understand both of them in a more profound way. I think animation was the way to go on this film because it really gave us an opportunity to like get to understand who Orion, Pax and E16 were and focus the story on them as opposed to live action where you've got the live action characters that are sort of the focal point with the robots being sort of the supporting cast, even though they wreak a lot of havoc. And we were able to really use that animation, one from a cost perspective, 
and then also to be able to use the animation that ILM did, which was fantastic, to really create characters that the audience could connect with. You really want to understand like how these guys became arch enemies. And when we when Josh and I really and Lorenzo and Mark sort of embarked on it was really like how do we get the audience to make sure that they fall in love with them in the beginning so that when we got to the end it's it's a heartbreak and you don't get people crying in, in Transformer movies and that was always sort of a, a secret goal of ours because of the emotion. So but Chris, Scarlett, Keegan, Brian, I mean Buscemi, John Hamm, and Lawrence Fishburne, they're incredible and just bring every character to life and getting to travel around the world and record them and they're all wonderful people and all love the project. Um, it really brings this movie to another level that I don't think you would have gotten without them. I'm most excited for the audience to experience a Transformer movie that brings, it, brings everything. You get the emotion, you get the action, you get the um, the drama and you really at that point get the full picture and get a full movie experience in a movie theater because we paid attention to every little detail to make sure that it was big and loud and the music's amazing and to bring a full experience so you, you know you don't want to miss it in the theater.